All right, today we are going to talk about the moon and its relationship with the Earth. So first up, we have the moon and its effects on the tides. Um, so like the Earth, the moon has its own gravitational pull. However, people don't notice this pull because it is much weaker on us. Um, but combining this pull with the Earth's rotation, we get high tides and low tides. As you can see in the picture, high tides are created on the side facing the moon and opposite of the moon, and low tides occur in the areas between the high tides. In the morning or at night, we can see the sun is rising in the east and in the, seven, in the, in the west. And, and although it looks like sun is moving, uh, but the sun is actually standing still. Uh, the sunrise and sunset are created by the rotation of the Earth. Uh, the Earth is rotating. Uh, I mean, the sunlight is uh, reaching the Earth on the one side at all times, but the Earth is rotating, so the region where uh, where the sunlight, is, sunlight reaches changes on the surface of the Earth with time. And because the Earth is uh, rotating anti-clockwise from the view of the North Pole, uh, it looks like the sun is rising in the, in the east and setting in the west. And this is also the same for the moon. The moon looks like it's rising in the east and setting in the west at night. But it's actually orbiting around the Earth. But it's much slower than, uh, than the rotation of the Earth. So it looks like the sun and moon is rising and setting at night. Uh, sometimes, the Sun, Earth, and Moon align together, forming an eclipse. On Earth, we can see a solar and a lunar eclipse. Du during a lunar eclipse, the Earth positions itself between the Sun and the Moon, blocking the sun rays from reaching the Moon. During a total eclipse, a shadow is formed, and the Moon becomes darker in our view. When the sun ray hit hits the atmosphere of Earth, all colors scatter and the red color remains, forming a red moon and it's called a blood moon. It happens once in two years. In a partial lunar eclipse, the sun and moon and earth are not perfectly aligned together, so the moon is partially in the earth's shadow and it usually happens every six months. During the solar eclipse, the moon lies in between the sun and the earth, and the moon casts a shadow on earth. This clip demonstrates the phases of the moon as seen from earth. The light of the sun only hits half the moon's surface at a time, just like how we have days on earth, and the moon's position relative to the earth determines how much of it we see lit up. 